Hey, it's your sports tech here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to build a flame arrestor. Um, basically the reason you would need a flame arrestor is for those people who don't understand why. Um, you're putting a ignitable gas into either your carburetor or throttle body or in in intake port. Uh, should any sort of flame ignite this, uh, it would go in through the line and of course you could have uh, a detonation per se. Uh, at the bubbler or at the generator uh, which could of course ruin the equipment amongst other things. Uh, this is a very relatively inexpensive tool to make for your system uh, which would actually stop the spark and the flashback at this uh, at the location where you put this flame rest. I've seen these on eBay made out of PVC plastic um, and plastic fittings and barbs um, and they work. I mean, I've seen them work. I personally wanted to go brass. Um, I have this thing about if you build it, build it once, build it right. Um, the good thing about that is if for whatever reason you change your system, you're back out of your system later on, you can always take the parts, remove them, and you can use them for any other applications. Um, the components for this are very simple. It's basically two brass barbs, as you can see right here. Uh, the barbs I bought at Home Depot, they're Watts barbs. It's um, number A298. Um, the little brass pipe fitting that's in between it is also by Watts. It's an A789. Uh, you're going to need, of course, what stops the flashback, bronze wool. I have Rose American bronze wool. This stuff is a little difficult to find at times. You won't find it in your Home Depot in your Lowe's. Uh, but I did find it at a Taylor's Do-It Center. Unfortunately, Taylor's is only here in Virginia. But I have seen it at uh, Amazon.com and some other online sites. So it is there. You, of course, you can always find this uh, at any sort of marine supply store. This uh, bronze wool is actually used to refinish and bring back to life teak wood. So you'll find that definitely there, or any place that does wood refinishing will have it. Uh, as far as the screens go, the screens are simple little washers for a garden hose with the stainless steel screen in it. Won't rust, last you forever. Of course, as anything, you have to modify them. They don't quite fit. All I basically need is the screen to keep the bronze wool from coming out of the tube and through cut away the uh, rubber piece and you're left with a, a nice little screen. Of course you could probably make them by taking screening from, you know, as long as it's not aluminum. Um, if you get stainless steel screen and sheets you can cut out pieces, but for the amount that we're using on this type of thing, you pay the two bucks, you get three of these. You cut them with a scissor. All right, simple installation. I like to use a little pencil to stuff the uh, the things in. This is what it looks like after it's cut. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It will go upside down into your barb. This will permit all the gas from coming out, but none of the stuffing. I've already pre-installed it into the other one. That's why I've only got one. With the bronze wool, and I'll show you what a full looks like an oversized Brillo pad. Basically this is what it is. Um, I opened it up, made it a little looser. You're going to use for this size, which um, this size is about is a three inch pipe. You're going to use about half that Brillo. <laughs> yeah, you're going to roll it up, bring it into this much. Take your pipe and twist. You'll be amazed how easy it walks in. You want to hold the stuffing in when it gets here. You can see it's already trying to come out. Just hold it in and pack a little more. Make it very tight in there. Basically, I mean, it wants to come out. Take your barbs. You would have, of course, at this point, 
you would either put Teflon tape, Rector Seal, Permatex on the threads to seal these up. Take the other side, close it up. I put them in my vise just to make it easier. It's a three quarter inch fitting. And tape and tighten them down. You will be able to get them tight all the way to the bottom. I'm not doing this right now just for brevity's sake. Basically, that's it. There's your completed flame arrestor. Oxygen would, uh, the HHO produced by your generator would come from here. This would be the hose that would feed your um, engine. Should you have a spark here, it'll come up to here and in here with the stuffing, stop it dead cold. This whole thing came to, I would say, under 10 bucks. That's it. That's how easy it is to make a frame, uh, flame arrestor to protect your system.